What is the Surrender Sing route? Um, basically, the Surrender Sing route is a method of where British citizens can secure UK immigration uh, for, right for their non-EU spouses, kids, etc. By firstly moving to another country within the EU, because um, you can't do it within the UK. Uh, but basically, you move to another country, live and work there for three to four months, do all your paperwork, get a family visa, and then you can go to the UK. Now, I know some people are going to go, well, that's unfair, that's unfair. Here's a bit of unfairness for you. I pay on average, when I work in the UK, at least £1,200 a month in tax. It's often more than that because sometimes my salary is double that, so you can double that. So, say two and a half thousand pounds a month in tax sometimes, and they treat you like crap. Because what's happened is the EU door has opened to EU uh, people, you Romanians, Albanians, Croatians, what? Well, um, the whole of the EU is an open door policy. So you've got the Conservatives, and you had the same with the Labour. Um, they sort of gone, oh, hang on, we didn't expect this many immigrants. Well, they're lying for a start. They did expect this many immigrants. A lot of the Polish were brought in to actually devalue the cost of construction workers in London. So they've, they've got this door wide open, has devalued a lot of the jobs in the UK, etc. But what's happened now is they're going, oh, hang on, we're going to, we're going to reduce immigration. Uh, we can't do anything about the EU. Um, I know what. A little light bulb comes on. The only people left to target are British citizens. You know those people that should be able to bring their wife and kids to the UK because they're British citizens. So we actually have less rights than a lot of, well, probably even nearly as low as the guys in Calais because we're actually legally already a citizen. So this route is basically, you go to um, Portugal, Spain, France, Germany, etc. Work there, stay there for three to four months, process all your paperwork, and then you get a family permit, and then you go to the UK, and there's nothing the UK can do about it because it's overruled in EU law. Um, it's something I'm promoting now, purely because I think it's something that more people should think about um, because and I'll be honest with you my protest on this is firstly I don't take benefits I've never taken benefits I've no interest in benefits um, my Spain re residence is funded purely on myself and on top of that I have a bigger income that I've generated myself then I would get in benefits anyway. But in the UK, I wouldn't be entitled to anything anyway. So it, either way, you look at it, I wouldn't be interested in benefits. But I pay a fortune in benefits for other people. But even that is not where I have a problem. My problem is, why should I be paying to come back to the country that is allegedly my home? Um, although, once I get citizenship somewhere else in Europe, I will be burning my passport online. Um, but the, the point being here is that for me to take April and the kids of the UK, when you total it all up to actually get the residency and then become a actual physical resident in the UK, beyond all the crap they do with this British exam on nonsense that the average Brit couldn't answer, it also costs about six thousand pounds per person. So for me, that's eighteen thousand pounds to pay for something that legally I believe should be my right anyway, from being a husband and a father. Um, those are the reasons that I'm against the whole UK mess up of its immigration. Theresa May, I hate with a vengeance, and everything she seems to touch seems to turn to a brown. I can't say it without swearing, a brown mess on the floor. All right, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.